six million campaign Oh, what a crook But his story was a mess It was plain to see Now he's stuck in the warehouse Filled with misery Now he's stuck in the warehouse Filled with misery Satanic sisters, oh, what a shame. They're twisted souls. I'm doing the bumper. They're drowning yeah, yeah, them in sand. Let's start on the bumper. The Let's bridge. just do this shit. So let me get to the real. I think I'm the dumbest person in the world. All right. Yes. Guess who's back? And why Back did you again? just turn off? I didn't hit that. Why did you turn off TV? <clears throat> okay, so a little setup for the this clip. All right. He has people in his chat asking when there's gonna be more animation done. And I don't know if he's announced this officially, but in this clip, he tells us that they're going to make a Ripaverse app. Did we or did the did we already kind of materialize the game rabbit hole? Oh, him and trying, it's kind of trying to materializing. Do well, into okay. The app? Listen, this is kind of in that vein of us just wanting him to waste money. Don't worry, his fans are on it, Kyle. His fans are going to make sure he's going to waste a ton of money. <laughs> and uh, oh god, I can't wait. Uh, look. I might do a video talking about this, but it's a good time to talk about it on the show. Why not? There's a lot of people. I've heard you guys loud and clear. You like animation. And I, I'm working on a little something, something to give. I need to, <clears throat> I need to buy a fake, like thick beard, like a Lucas beard, right? And an Under Armour sleeveless shirt. And maybe a Ripaverse hat. So I can do... <laughs> I could be white air July. And do they sell like uh, <laughs> adhesive patches of like hair? Yes, I'll curly some, hair. I'll put some uh, adhesive patches yep. of hair on my shoulders. Yep. I'll be white air July, and I'll do that for the Hammer Club one week. <laughs> so one of the things I want to do for the Hammer Club is I want to dress up in costumes, like some of the people were making fun of. I mean, instead of buying hair. How can always how can always like cut her pews and you could stick it onto your shoulders? That is a good point. How? Start it's free. Up. It's true. It's free. She could do that for my beard as well. Yeah. <laughs> it might take a couple of months, but I think we could. I think we could do it. Yes, for canon's sake, is a stupid fucking name. Give y'all some that'll suffice. I get it. Hi, but I also want to say this, and we'll be completely honest about this. I was kind of, you know, like Hi, uh, Riley from uh, uh, the clip of hers. He named his show for Can Sake Two. He should have put an extra N in it, and like just made everything about cannons. <laughs> just done like a whole cannon bit. <laughs> Artistically going over <laughs> cannon facts. <laughs> in seventy eighty five, this model of cannon was used in the Battle of whatever. <laughs> Animation is expensive. Instead of uh, Mitt uh, reviews comic books, she could just review a cannon. Like, ah, it looks like it's made from good iron. <laughs> it takes 45 <laughs> seconds to reload, which was insane for the time. <laughs> I mean, I think they got the right amount of autism for that. <laughs> like, really expensive. Um, 2D animation... 3D animation for that matter as well, but 2D animation especially because you're drawing every scene. It costs a lot of money and it takes a lot of time. And please, Eric, please give us the ISOM cartoon. People would love for us to do Look, that. Buddy, but if you're gonna just... use your our fucking animation <laughs> sweatshops, you got you, it's gonna have you look at the inflation, how how, how bad this shit is? <laughs> See, <laughs> Even now, in the sweatshops. The amount of like it seems like there's like his audience is starting to put some pressure on him to do um an animated show, and he's saying, oh, we ain't got the money. I have a feeling 
this motherfucker is going to try to crowdfund an animated series within the next year or two. Yes, sir. Probably by the yes, end of the year. I wouldn't sir. be so surprised. I just want people to understand that. How can you keep squeezing your it audience, costs money. sir? So we have to find, and we are Got figuring it. out what that's going to look for like the because we don't work with investors or, can look or good anything. On the warehouse. Monetization is the is the most important part of that. If we're going to do longer format things, especially because of right now, we are we've done very very short form things, and they are specifically for selling uh, the comics, all of them, yeah. both they animations make, that we've done no as well as live back. action. So if we are going to entertain like longer format stuff, where we're just like doing a show or maybe i'm doing an episode eric for your next trailer you should hire dean kane i hear you already hired him to do a comic book why not hire him to act in your next trailer and then you could do a whole hey it's dean kane thing that'll make your thing better the oh, dean kane guy? superman yeah superman yeah superman from the 90s he had something about him something crazy He's yeah, like super like uh over. right conservative. Yeah. Okay. So never mind. It wasn't weird. <laughs> Kyle's like, nah, he's pro probably normal. Probably he's not a pedo or anything like that. Hey, I just knew there was a story or something. The the, the reason why people still remembered him. It's because he, he, he's, he's just doing the Kevin on Sorbo Law and Order? He's doing the Kevin Sorbo oh. grift. I'm a Christian Republican actor that don't want nothing to do with those pedophiles. Then why'd you work in their fucking industry for 30 years? It's pretty stupid. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, I've, like, I like Kevin Sorbo because I like Hercules as a kid, right? Still think he's kind of cringe. So I just don't, you I, I just muted him on Twitter so I don't have to see that shit, and I feel Zina. much better about her, him as a person. Didn't you prefer Zena, the Princess Warrior? Oh yeah, Zena was all because right. Gay, gay but between two. the two shows, gay still <laughs> watching Kevin Sorbo oiled up, <laughs> jacked up on uh, Hercules. I liked both the shows. I was, but I always liked remember? Hercules oh, no, more. No, no, no. Great ass. If great you go back and look at it too, the dude wasn't even that ripped. <laughs> like he was like kind of just like moderately like fit. <laughs> it's gay that it's gay that you know. <laughs> no, like seriously, yeah. like here I'll, I'll pull up I'll pull up a a picture of Kevin Sorbo. What was uh, Zena's like girl? Gabrielle. Buddy, Gabrielle. Gabrielle. Her lesbian Sorry. lover. Yeah. See, like when it started going that way, I lost interest because I'm like, this is not How? what the show was about. I got a little excited. What was I it about? Was it wasn't on. looking at it was fucking about Zina's fighting legs. mythical people. Look, with great he's legs. Like, he's worked. He works out, but he's not like that. Rich. He's not what you would expect, like Hercules to look like. Gay ass too. Why? How is this gay? This has nothing to do with. That up? This, is nothing to, this is, has to do with like the look of a character. Okay, can you can you show Zena and Gabriel just just for See, old like, time's Zena, sake? Like, when I was like eight, some... I thought she was like hot, and then like I grew up and I was like, eh. Eight? What the fuck, dude? Why are you lying? Who's horny at eight? I was, I was maybe a I 10, wasn't horny. 11, I was, I was watching it because I liked the shows. He actually was like taking his Greek mythology notes from that. Like, yeah. Oh, thank you. You we, we, we want to see a close up of her eyes. That's why we will look watching. That's why we were looking at the show. Here, here's your close up. I didn't <laughs> even know the color of her eyes. I didn't even know they were blue. <laughs> I, I remember that was what I was looking at. <laughs> That's right, Dark Leaf. Uh, Ryan Gosling played young Hercules. I completely forgot about that. I remember that. Oh yeah. I, don't know. I just liked. I just liked Hercules better. Like it was just. And the when they show. did crossover, did you hope they fucked? I I was like, oh dude, that Hercules. No, story I was eight. Fuck. I wasn't yeah. thinking about that shit, Kyle. I like the girls. I was thinking better. more. I hope they <laughs> kick Hera's ass, or I hope Bruce Campbell shows up as the fucking jack of all trades guy. And we got a couple of years difference, you're right? When I was eight, I was watching the Disney Hercules, and I liked that shit. You guys are so, old. Yeah, yeah. 
Oh, look at this b bald baby. <laughs> he always got to make this mouth. So, so did you rob a, like an Antifa kid with a switchblade in your street last night? What or something? What you talking about? <laughs> Old or whatever. I would love to she get looks to like she helped carry uh, bolts up to a skyscraper being constructed in 1920. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> look at that hat. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're carried around a whitewash bucket. <laughs> I'm gonna go with old Huck Finn and help whitewash that, that fence with old inward Jim. <laughs> that point. You but like I just my want shirt? people to understand that I shit costs a lot shirt. of money. And it does take a lot of, of, of time to do that. So we do believe that our application is going to be a place where we can like funnel that house a lot of that content. See, like I'm not watching this guy's every stream. I just saw this because it's popped up on Katie Did's uh, channel. And when he said application, I was like, "What? Did he just fucking say that they're making a Riververse app?" I'm sorry. Let me say that again. Are they making a Riververse app? Why? Why soundboard? <laughs> Why must you betray me? So would it be like a digital comic book? Digital? No, he doesn't do digitals, apparently, according to... Oh. So what's the point in the app? Oh, I it's think gonna like going the to It's going to be like the magazine to get all your news. Kyle, from... he's really mm. going to nickel and dime every single one of his fucking customers. He just, oh, you uh, bought he, the real uh, version? Well, now you can go use the Riververse app and get the, the PDF version for $10 or whatever. Right, and... What impressed me was he like saying, I'm going to funnel. He, al he almost said, I'm going to funnel all of my, mo my fans' money <laughs> through that app. The, the way he was just saying. I mean, that is essentially what he said. Look at Thomas Saul looking at him like this nigga. He never read my book. He's just, you guys just, just uh, a poser. Yeah. You know what he looks like? Like when he opens his mouth like that. For some reason, he looks like Jack Black as the Sasquatch from Tenacious D in The Pick of Destiny. I don't know why I get that vibe. I just do. Is that an overbite? Is that why he has this fucking beard? Does he have a massive overbite? Like He might have an underbite. Or his bottom jaw. Like when it's forward? That's under, under, uh, under, forward. Pipe. I don't know. Let's enhance. Mm. Enhance. Enhance. I think I see the pixels. Uh, get membership so you can see this. Six pixels. Got to use some Impose movement to see the full, the full breadth of his teeth. I had an overbite as a kid. I yeah, that's definitely his for like draw. four years. Yeah, he's got an underbite. He got an underbite like a motherfucker. I got a bit of an underbite. Oh, is that underbite here? Yeah, he got like an underbite like a like motherfucker. Tail. I have a little overbite, but it just makes me look better. Yeah. What is the, What was the Baron's name from... Uh, uh, Baron Stein? Baron Von Yogi Underbite. Bear? Underbite. Yeah. Yeah, what? Baron Von Underbite. You don't know Baron Von Underbite? That's no. a thing? It's from Venture Brothers. Bar Ew. <laughs> Baron Von Underbite. <laughs> and this is the same picture to me. It looks like a gorilla. You can't hey. say that about Eric July. <laughs> I knew someone was going to say that. That goes the I was clip. waiting for it. I was God waiting. damn it, Toasty! Clip. All of our things have been validated by All your right. racism. Why do I let you Roll Puerto the... Ricans on here? I'm not allowed to say them. <laughs> Roll the intro again. Let's start over. <laughs> I can't be racist. It's impossible. I'm everything under the sun. Leave me alone. I'm definitely going to beep it like you just called me in word too. And I'll leave in this part. <laughs> not just as Greg that you. Uh, uh, get membership so you can view this stuff. You know, using that as our vehicle for putting out that type of content. But either way, it, it's it's I think that it's important that especially customers understand 
how it compares because most people don't know this at all. Anime has exploded in the West. And most people don't seem to understand that we all know those this. are so many not weird white avenues for revenue. Anime. Yeah, I, I don't get manga. It's whatever, but I just don't get it. I used to read it as a kid, but then after a while, there was some weird people watching it. And I'm like, yeah, I hate it now. That's another reason why I'm just not into it. Like, there's too much weird shit. So, I mean, there's weird shit in like American comics too, if you dig deep enough, but like. Manga wears that shit on its sleeve. <laughs> Here's all the weird shit. No thanks, Manga. I will just watch the Trigun cartoon because I know there's nothing weird in there. For the companies, almost at all. For the vast majority of these comp companies, that is a loss leader. And what that means is they don't make money off of those at all. It's more of that's selling something else it'll sell maybe it sells a manga maybe it sells toys maybe it sells a multitude of other things don't die merch, till all that <laughs> don't do a merch live. how they make their money on that and it's a great vehicle for that right so you invest in a lot in that <laughs> and you make a lot of money on the back end so it's treated as a Man, if I could just fake a seizure <laughs> if i could just have a seizure on command right it's gonna get you some attention. Well, when you're a little small company out Maybe of Maybe Jeeves gonna Texas. talk about you. <laughs> Maybe I'll end up on Red Bar. I don't know. <laughs> should I open it? Should I make a GoFundMe for uh, BMW? Will that get me on Red Bar? <laughs> Till the day Red Bar has you on screen and he zooms on you doing a Red Bar zoom, that's when you made it. That's when you, <laughs> I'll just do like this. I made it. <laughs> Hey, buddy. <laughs> I made it. With no investors. Glad and, your and, legs and could work long enough to talk about me. <laughs> none of that shit. For right now, we don't have the funding, right, to, to, to make that make sense. To have a loss leader, right? If anything, your loss le our loss leader is like some marketing stuff, right? But that's not Stop even then. It's like you're marketing, marketing, marketing gimmicks. So I can't. Why does he feel the need to discuss all his business decisions with yeah. his fucking audience. I keep saying his his like his brainstorm live stream brainstorming sessions. Dude, get a meeting room. Get the fucking people you pay for to fucking sit there and listen to your grovel and well, he can't and say because yes, they'll sir. all just go, yeah, yeah, don't totally. But that's what he needs. He that's has at he least needs. in his chat the possibility someone might go, I don't know, maybe you should like he as much as he hates criticism, he needs his his fans soft criticism because he's insecure. Right, he needs affirm uh, affirmation. <laughs> Can't afford to drop hundreds of thousands of dollars into something so that and get zero return. Uh, that that's impossible. I can't do that. I can't. I can't do that. So. Sip. The company can't. Really? We just can't have a loss leader that's that expensive. But I think after Yabra gets released and we really see how many memberships are bringing in, uh, how the memberships None. sell as we put out like this uh, video content, I think that'll be very telling of what our capabilities are going to do. But it's a lot of upfront investment is what, I, what I'm referring to. Swear to God, so no one that hasn't I mean, already like, bought into his before shit I see a dime in is this coming in because of Yara. No, no. Absolutely not. No one. And he actually gonna we're gonna drain some people off. Yeah, I mean every right? time every every new campaign is just another reason for people to basically just go, um ah, I'm good. He should release another black lad main character. Yeah. Because that's all he's been doing. He could have easily been making way more money if he just never got that fucking warehouse. Like, even with the comic book shitty, like, he could have pocketed, yeah. like, the majority of that fucking money. Definitely did everything by third parties. Yeah, boom, 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 saved a boom, shit ton of money. He did everything. But he delivery. wants to be a company owner. You know you can still have a company one, right? 
Oh, or, he like, wanted to have his desk. Remember that he has a desk in the middle of the warehouse? Yeah. Like, that he can I'll, see I'll be them, look at all those dumb people. I hope one day this show starts doing well enough that we can have an actual studio instead of, you know, one of my spare bedrooms that I turn into a studio. One day, Ooh. maybe we will. Maybe we won't. You know what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to run out and fucking get it for, you know, after getting like a hundred people watching. Like, you know, if I have a thousand people watching on a stream, I'm not running out and getting a fucking, like a, a studio space immediately. Like, I'll wait. Uh, let's, let's see if this maintains for a while. Then we'll take the next step. But if I have to run this out of my house for the rest of my life, it's fucking so be it. I work with what the means I have. Mm -hmm. Speaking of what you that super chat button. A lot of costs <laughs> going to be associated in in making an animation. Like, for example, which I think that's the maybe outside of like the toy and statue market, probably our highest demand, especially after you guys have seen it, the highest demand thing that we've had. Uh See, he's retarded, not to have started doing action figures already. Like when he made the, had the $3.6 million campaign for ISOM, that's exactly when he should have put out like an ISOM action figure, um, whatever the fucking gangster guy's name is, Darren, the big fucking uh, bouncer guy. You could have put out a Yaira one. You could put out like the first version Yaira. So she's like in her fucking like, you know, sweats and shit. But you know he. No, I don't care. Listen. I just want a, a, a an action figure of him. That would have probably been. I would buy that. I would buy. That would have been in. That would definitely would have been in the set. Kyle. <laughs> that definitely would have been in the set. Right. And you gotta do. You know, if he doesn't come with like shoulder hair, you can like you know how they customize <laughs> the like action a fine figures tip and all that. You're just like yeah. You, you make it. Make it happen. <laughs> some, like glue some Velcro to his shoulder. It's like the hairy <laughs> side of the Velcro. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Yeti says, I wouldn't buy a studio if I had 100,000 people watching live. I mean, it really just depends on uh, what your needs are. See, I, I'm a uh, film nerd and I love production shit. Just an overall So nerd. I would probably put a lot more money than necessary into making an awesome looking fucking studio. Okay, well, so now I'm going to teach you a hack. So mm -hmm. how you guys customize your toys and get some hair on them. You get double-sided tape, and then one side you put in, you know? Like your... Good. Could be like, maybe if you have a hairy leg, a hairy arm, or you can go yeah. straight down to the business, and then you, like, give yourself a little waxing, just a little bit, just a little bit for the cause. Like, mm -hmm. See, Stevie J's got a good, then, uh, yeah. good idea <laughs> in the thing. He could have made a tabletop game with his characters. He could have sold... He could have made a trading card game. He could sell miniatures. Like... There are so many things that he could have done to make more money off this stupid fucking comic book. But no, he doesn't want to do that. He wants to make cartoons and movies. The most expensive no, fucking thing there is. It's the most risky. Yeah, but it's like one centralized bullshit that he has under his ego. Because doing good, good stuff like game, tabletop games and yada yada and good comics and all of that would involve him handling power over to creatives that actually are artists of the craft yeah he not would want to do everything on his own and, and just, yeah his ego is bigger than his uh, yeah, like he, he he wants to be a ceo but also wants to be the like the rock star the writer artist. The, arti yeah, the, the, auto, <laughs> auto. the auteur the artist tour <laughs> yeah uh not a book is people want more animation. Hey, hey, we put out a live action. I'd rather see animation. And it's like, well, shit. I, I you know can uh, empathize with that. There's someone very specific who said that. On Friday Night Tights. They were talking about the Yara trailer. And this person says, yeah, it was all right. I like the animation stuff better. He should do more animation instead, this live action stuff. That was like the most scathing thing said on Friday Night Tides, aside from uh, uh, Ryan Cannell making fun of the accent. You know who said we'll that? Say. Fucking Gary. I don't care, but I gotta ask. Gary, Nerd Roddick. Uh, His probably biggest supporter, aside from like Geeks and Gamers. 
Like Nerd Roddick is the reason why he made three point six million dollars for his campaign. Greeks and gamers, just a bunch of hairy guys. Yeah, just a bunch Gre <laughs> Greeks, Greeks and gamers. And gamers. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'd watch that channel. A bunch of guys in like too. white beaters, <laughs> fucking chains on. <laughs> <laughs> playing know, Mario Kart Tube TV <laughs> especially considering that it's a it's a comic based thing and comics tend to cross over way better in an animation sense but that shit ain't free <laughs> it ain't it costs a lot of money and the key especially to, if it's to not gonna make any money because it's bad to, uh, that costs a lot of money and maintain it, maintain independence Maintain independence, I think, is the most important part of it. Yeah, I could have. I want to make sure the Redcoats can't come and take my, my tobacco. We got to maintain independence. We are Hong Kong. Sold off something to get some initial investment. I don't want to do that. I will not do that. The point is to remain. Well, now that he like, like. Some women. Now that he has emphatically stated that he will not do that. I have a feeling he's going to do it. <laughs> that just has this like voice in my head. That goes, no, he's definitely going to do it. Specifically because he says, oh, I'm never going to do that. Yeah. Like he said, he'd never go woke. I love mm -hmm. that these people all just turn into the things they hate. It. Makes my heart a little happy in this dark world because it shows that there is just, there is still just universal truths. You know? You fight what like, you hate long the enough. Earth is flat, just like his. Yes. yes. And hollow, and there's monkeys down there with a demon monkey that has a whip with a special crystal on it that controls an ice Godzilla. Wait, I may have gotten confused. Now, who's the racist? Obama. All of us? I don't know. <laughs> Completely independent. So that means having that upfront money to invest in that is, uh, I think once we have our release schedule in, we're bringing in a lot of money uh, uh, just on a regular basis. It's not like loaded in one one single month and in, in, in like a, a couple of times a year. It's more of every day we're getting sales, which we get sales every day, but you get what it is. And I'm saying when we can justify releasing new material like new books and stuff uh, at a more frequent level, you're going to be bringing in more money, right? And I think as that, we see what that looks like. We anal analyze the profit from that. And then we start putting this shit out. Then perhaps a short show that is entirely produced by Riververse Studios uh, that's funneled through our application is something that'll make sense. So it'll be very, very telling. No, I think it doesn't make sense. It just makes sense if you're a fucking um, how ours. It makes sense that he's now trying to steal another model. No, like I'll, I'll be fair. A lot of what people do on the internet is steal each other's like models like monetization God. models i don't know who, who said that who does that that's crazy i mean that's weird that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's what that's what the internet does right people copy what they like what they think will work shit like that He's like first he wanted to copy Ethan Van Skyver because Ethan has a warehouse where he mainly ships out action figures, not comic books, action figures. But now he's turning. He's he's seen the wall with this approach, and now he's looking ways to squeeze more money out of his people by starting a Ripperverse app. And basically teasing, oh, well, you know, if we get enough people to sign up to the app, we'll make cartoons and stuff. And yeah, first thing people should do out there when the app comes out, see every permission that it asks. Because it's a batch is going to ask for everything. Yeah. Because it's just convenient, you can might make money out of that. Like, it's not a terrible plan. It's just like, this hard pivot just feels... It just feels scummy. 
right? Like, we're trying to get everybody to go sign up for the locals, right? $5 a month, everybody chips in. You can even gift subscriptions on locals. So if somebody doesn't, you know, have a thing, you can, you can give them a, a month, whatever. We're doing that so we can stop asking people to help pay for the show every night. Because we want to focus on making a good show. Now, it's, it's a long road ahead of us, but, you know, we're going to fucking try. He's trying every different direction to squeeze money out of his people. Oh, if you get us up to two million, we'll do a Yaira action, or a Yaira statue. Like, yeah. it's just scummy. I mean, it's like, he's going to spend a lot of money on the fucking app, and it's another thing that's... This, mm -hmm. He's gonna spend money that it just Another at the magazine. Money sink. Just like I the love trailers. it. You know what? I'm on board with the app now. You won me over, right? Kyle. No, it you is won money. Me over. And he won't generate more money. It's just another way he thinks he's gonna monetize his audience. It yeah. has no and value. Every, it's not content. Everything he does like alienates like his 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 customer base essentially because he doesn't just have viewers anymore. Like we have viewers. He's trying to turn his viewers into loyal customers through this cult of personality shit. Are you saying he's the Tom Segura of comics? No, he's more he like Owen Benjamin. Buyers. <laughs> he's trying to make his own Riptaria. He's making a digital. He's, he's making a digital because it's a fake Riptaria. place. A, yeah. Right. At least Owen Benjamin was trying to sell like a real place. He's like, no, guys, it's a it's a place in the skies in the Ripperverse. <laughs> it's in the cloud, man. It's in the fucking yeah. cloud. It's in the cloud. The cloud of his hairy beard. What the fuck is the chat talking about? Am I too high? They are talking about uh, grilling. I got a video for Thank you guys you this. We already You're are promising you more animation. What kind and what that I wish I was here for is a different animal. Cope with life. So we'll see. It just costs, <laughs> just it about just costs so fucking much um, to do that. And, you know, I get it. People are going to... It, it's the thing. And it's not for customers or the audience to necessarily understand, which is why I think it's important to have that level of transparency if you are being independent, because then the the audience understands the cost. But the general customer doesn't know that. Like they don't know. They can assume that it's expensive, right? People don't know but it's that just they want to buy something that they see that they enjoy. Shut you down. But you guys, you guys, you are selected ones. You get the inside scoop. Now just shave your hair. Put this white clothing. Let's all get into a circle. Okay? See, what he doesn't understand about, about the movie business, even about independent movies, is you are going to need investors. If you have any hope of making a movie, you're going to need investors. But his problem is not a lack of money. We <laughs> hit 3.6 million. Well, he's saying, I want to stay independent. I want to stay. You can get investors who will give you money and not have a say because they like investing yeah, in independent but, movies uh, and shit. Yeah, but then you got to be good. Your shit's got to be good. That's so you the can problem. get investors that, that will they would like, look, no, they would here's look the money, at his just campaigns. do your shit. They would look at his campaigns and they would go, oh, 3.6 million for the first comic book? That's cool. All right. Oh, 2.4 for the second? That's okay. 1.2 for the third. There is no long-term money-making opportunities with this franchise. Oh, the fourth one made 1.3. That's a real no, but uh, what you gotta understand is that the people who bought the first one, what they were so satisfied <laughs> that they didn't even need to buy the second one and then mm -hmm. the third one. <laughs> they just <laughs> they, they, they were just gonna read it forever. They, it's like the, the Bible. Movie. Just make the, the first <laughs> first book over and over and over again. It's like the Bible. I I honestly though like, as the kids would say, no cap. I I'm honestly bothered. you gotta you gotta take the cap off. You gotta, if okay. you're gonna say no cap. It's with no cap. All right. Or else you're capping. All Pretty right. Pretty much capping. No cap.
on God for real, for real, I'm going to buy Horseman. Like, I know it's going to be horrifically overpriced and probably terrible, but I'm totally going to buy Horseman. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Dude, I can't wait. I'm so fucking excited for Horseman. Like, I don't, you Get don't understand. <laughs> the cost right off his work. Stupid fucking comic book idea, but it might be amazing. Like, sometimes, sometimes things you go, well, that's a fucking dumb idea, turn out to be amazing. And I know Chuck Dixon has it in him to write good, good comics. He has before. No, I don't think it's going to be amazing. That's that's just it's crazy. It's probably not going to be. It, it's probably one of those those ideas. If where you mean like, like good, bad, it's so bad that it's good or something like that. Yes, I can Nat, see that. I not, should not, buy no the Horseman book. mask. Absolutely. But no. When the Horseman comes out and I get my copy of it, I will scan it for us. And on the Hammer Club, we're going to do a live reading of it. Yeah, awesome. It's going to be fucking fun. We're I expecting. pulled a fucking muscle. <sighs> Fuck Isom. We're not reading that horse shit. Isom 2 is like mostly silence. Did you pull him up? Uh, <sighs> like, hit it. Hit it to hit the place. You know? Rub it. So he hits up. What's wrong, Toasty? Do you have a Charlie I horse? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just stretched and it <sighs> and it what? I don't know. Pulled something. You pulled something by stretching. That's not how that's I don't know work. what it is. Uh it's it, called... I, I get <laughs> No, yeah. I get this pain a lot. Every time I stretch my back and I, I've been having this pain ever since I was like 13, 14. It feels like a pulled muscle or something, but I don't know what it is. I can fix it. I'll punch you in the back. <laughs> um, Yeti says, watch, Horseman will be the vehicle to turn Doc around on Riververse. No, 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 no. See, Horseman could be great. It could be great. But it'll be this one little spike in this otherwise flat line of horrific, awful writing. Let me ask you something. Check Dixon. What did you say he did on DC or whatever? He drew? Batman Nightfall? He was no, 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 no. I, we got writer. that. Writer. Classic comics. But writer. Writer. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. So we got to wait and see. Because I was going to say, if yeah. it was like the guy who drew or Alpha whatever. Core, he gonna... wrote Alpha Core. Alpha Core was the most bland horseshit. Like, I couldn't finish it. I honestly couldn't finish it. I didn't give a fuck about any of the characters. They were all like fucking nothing. Boring. No comics has been but, amazing the last 15 but, years. But, Kyle, but Alpha hmm. Core was essentially a premise Eric had come up with and shoehorned Chuck into. So, I, I kind of think Chuck did the best he could with what he was given on that one. So, that one, it was still, it was a little better than, you know, the ice some stuff. At least it had, like, actual, like, story to it. You know, there's an actual story. Um, but Horseman, supposedly, now, I don't know if this is true. This could be all just marketing bullshit. Horseman, supposedly, is an original idea by Chuck and his artist, Joe Bennett. So... It has the possibility to actually be good. Now, is it going to be good? I'm not going to hold my breath. Because it seems so far that everything Eric touches turns to absolute fucking shit. The medium is bad, dude. It's gone. The medium? It's dead. I'm sorry. Yeah, bro. well, I mean, that's because all the fucking weirdos in the medium drive their customers away. And then they're like, well, maybe if we do all this woke shit to help uh, to get all those gay and lesbian and transsexual customers our, our money, our bottom line will come back up and they don't have money because they can't keep jobs and uh, it just it doesn't work out for them it just doesn't work out that medium L. Ruffin says Chuck was collecting a paycheck he really wasn't trying the horseman is going to suck balls really hard probably, see I'm not I'm not Holding my breath on it being good. But it has the potential. It has all the ingredients that in any other situation you go, this this might actually be good. But Ooh. it has Ripa, so that's where it's like, I'm probably not. 
it's probably not gonna be great. I'm ripping on comics, like it's a dead medium. But the shit I like, it's more dead than dead. My shit is oil painting. Mm -hmm. That shit is dead. You like Alex <laughs> Ross? This is last century. I'm like dead, 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 buried alive. You like Alex Ross? Yeah, his shit is good, but he's an illustrator. He's a, he's a strange ball, illustration. but... I love the fact that on Twitter, yeah. all he ever posts is illustrations. He doesn't ever post, like, an opinion about anything. Good, good. The dude could I've be seen the... shit from him a lot. Because he follows a school of illustration I like, which is Norman Rockwell... And Frank Frazetta. And he traces a lot Alex of stuff. Rose. He traces like the bot a lot of times it's photographs he takes or old photographs. And then he like, you know, he morphs it to the character he needs. But yeah. he, he uses he, that like that template. But he of does a lot of uh, anatomy invention and mm -hmm. he pose tries to be very anatomical like correct. He so you need those references. No, no, no. Not even correct. It's like I hyper correct. He, well, real. But it's correct. But it's yeah, like, you're you know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, you're it's right. It's correct, but it's, that's the, that's the trick. It's that's why like Frank 40s, was so good. It's like 40s era, like World War II era, like romantic, romanticization of like real looking people. Like it's not cartoonish. Like he's, he's it was, very. Like for real, it was all born with Frank Frazetta. He. Changed yeah. the whole deal with Con and a lot of that. He started doing funnies in the 40s. The dude mm -hmm. is like, oh, gee. He started doing Felix the, the cat and whatever. Oh, he was And the Alex Ross was... and all, all of the, the guys are hugely, all of them, if you ask him, they're going to say Frank Frazetta. For sure. Mm -hmm. Ask if you ask any of them. He's the, the godfather of. I love Before he that, it was Mickey Mouse. But anyway. I love, that he, I love that Alex Ross mainly uses watercolors. It just gives it such a like a classic look. Like it looks like a a faded painting. Yeah, it's actually gouache or whatever they call it. But it's water solid watercolors, which is what Norman Rock will use and mm -hmm. all of the the OG, all of the all of the backdrop paintings from movies back then were mm -hmm. gouache paintings. Yeah, yeah, because you can get that like kind of faded like atmosphere look. Yeah, it can be as transparent yeah. as you want. Just put a water. All right, let's finish this. So Play, it doesn't matter it. what it is. And that's totally understandable. You're not thinking about, oh, as a buyer, simply, unless that information is just given to you, how much it costs to produce said thing, right? So just because you're small doesn't mean people, you, you deserve some sort of um, forgiveness. I think people are more forgiving the more transparent you are, but they're not going to give you, you're not owed that, let's say that, um, forgiveness with um, uh, uh, putting something like out that may nervous. be expensive. Because, Scratching or put your face something out that's going to be inevitably compared to people that are able to produce it and make more, far more money or it's have a, a lot nose. more startup and income than break. you do. I mean, does this guy not trim his nose hairs? I mean, if he doesn't. Like, get a shape up get itchy on, on his beard. I, I have, like, this, think... I have this long, like, weed whacker thing I stick in my nose. and it's... I mean, you're not... I don't think you're supposed to, like, clip off all your nose hairs. I mean, you could, like, just cut I buzz it and them stuff, down. but, like, you can't. I have a really tiny, like, like beard trimmer. It's, like, this big. And I just get right up in there and get all the way to the skin. I, yeah, flat but you can like do up and make a take him out. You, that's not good. No, no, you leave like a little bit, but you get the. They serve the, a purpose. I don't know. Do they? Yeah. What? They ain't never done shit for me. They just fucking take it up space. I think it's supposed to like um. Uh, shield you from. Your... And also, yeah, from like germs and shit that goes. From. Yeah, makes it harder for the germs. You to know get up who didn't that. get corona? Hair nose people. You know who didn't have bad corona? Smokers. <laughs> I couldn't I penetrate the it. fucking lungs <laughs> deep enough. <laughs> I all the shit, but the <laughs> dude, I still out. smoked through COVID twice. <laughs> <laughs> I was like. <laughs> And then, like, 12 hours later, it was fine. Oh, just right, before so I forgot, Stevie J, 
Yes, the fire and I. But fire, the movie itself, the cartoon, eh, kind of mad because it's a bunch of bunch of artists making a homage. But uh, I recommend, and you, you should watch it too, for real. The documentary which comes with the fire and ice. It's like half the animation, half like a documentary mm -hmm. with Frank Frazetta, his story and some interviews when he still was alive. That is amazing, dude. And you see, you're gonna see all of the titans of the industry talking about him and showing how he it's really good yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a shame like it just seems like most mediums have like a golden age and then it dies off and then something new takes its place it's a shame i tried to get into movies on that back nine oops should have uh, been born 30 years earlier <laughs> you could have tried to transition to games but that that's also gay now but so. I, I wasn't like i wasn't I mean, I, I had writing experience and all that, but I, I was mainly, like, I was an art dog. Like, I dressed sets and stuff. Like, I built the sets, dressed them, aged them. So you liked to build dollhouses? No, 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 like, like the actual sets. Like, not, like, tiny houses. Like, although I would have loved getting into, like, looking back, so I real got size into, like, dollhouses. I should have got into miniature work. Miniature work is so fun. Dude, I love making models. Like, it would have, like, tickled that little autism spot in my brain just perfectly. <laughs> yeah, I love so miniatures. Cute. I mean, saying about miniatures, but that's, an, uh, that's dead, dead than that. <laughs> Unless you can maybe work a weather, they're still mm. doing some miniatures. See, I mean, we, I we love should just make stuff for stuff. ourselves, Kyle. For free. as a hobby. Yeah, I guess. There's this lady I follow on Instagram. She does miniature, but she does, like, miniature, like, house stuff. Mm. And then she even made like a miniature like bucket with a mop, and she could just add real like water into it, and she mops the little yeah. floors. It's so cute. It would be great to have like a small studio like room to do all that shit. Put up fucking tables. Like we've watched some of that in camera shit before. That like I, I love the practical one. effects, dude. I I fucking love that shit. I when I was a kid, I used to make squibs. You're like non explosive squibs too. So you use like a water hose and like you put like the fake blood in the in the hose and you plug up the hose and you put like this piece of sponge and you run it through the clothes and you, like score the spot where it's supposed to get shot or whatever. And then you hook it up to like an air compressor. You just psh, so it, you know, like I would do shit like that. It was fun. Producing something mm -hmm. is gonna be completely different from Warner. Warner producing something. You get what it is that I'm saying? Uh, or, uh, you what know, DC is. Animation or Marvel, what they're doing. Like, I, I just, there's, there's no way that I could compete with that because I don't have 200 fucking million dollars to drop on some shit. Like, you see what I'm saying? What? But there's a lot of ways, man, and uh, we're entertaining those. And we just test the waters just a little bit. We put out the Alpha Core animation. I think a lot of people love that. I think the Alpha Core animation... Though we, I love the ISOM animation. We learned a lot of learning experience. Wrong. People do not love the alpha core animation. They made fun of how your animators just took a, a dove and like just barely shrunk it and then stuck it behind a very large object that was supposed to be very far away. Like it was very lazy animation all around. Hey, Apple experience. Eater. And that's kind of how a lot hey, of our Apple first eater. projects are here, right? It's like you put something out, you get the reception, the audience feedback, uh, and you also learn in terms of its production, right? So I came out of obviously ISOM 1, uh, oh, excuse me, ISOM 2's animation, animated, animated trailer with a lot more knowledge than what I had about animation, about production of the animation than I did before, obviously. And we used what we learned to produce the Alpha Core trailer. Where is he and getting Alpha all Core this trailer, which I looked the other money. day, it was like there's like, no like way that three point six million dollars uh is still around, and the, whatever money you made off of Alpha Core is burning up quick with your fucking warehouse bullshit. Darkly Ninja says, "I thought they said Riververse was a direct competitor with Marvel and DC." Oh, Eric can dream. I'll give him that. He knows how to fucking dream. Thousand views on that damn that thing did crazy well. I didn't know it was going. It was doing that well. Of course, animation did incredibly well. But 
uh, that's more of the look and feel of, I think, of, of what longer formatted uh, animation is going to look like for us. Um, I think that's kind of our stylistic like approach that we'd have if we were to do more animations. And uh, it is far more internalized than the previous animation. Um, but yeah, it, it, it shit wasn't. That shit wasn't, ex oh, it's at 300K now? See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't know. It's for, I had no idea. Yes, and they all laughed at it. Not as hard as they laughed at the Yaira trailer. But we laughed at it quite a bit. It's pretty goofy. That bitch was even over 100,000 views until. All right, I can't take any more of this guy. And that's been fucking Ripple Watch. Hey, hope you enjoyed that clip or hated it. Either way, we're live Monday through Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, right here on YouTube or over on Rumble at rumble.com slash C slash Ministry of Dude. Links are in the description. But you know what? You really love the show. You can go right on over to ministrydude.locals.com. Sign up for the Hammer Club. Just a mere $5 a month. Gets you access to all our bonus episodes where we really sink our teeth into the Internet's most notorious, disgusting, and stupid characters. Come join us.